Hey Virgos, so we're going to be doing a monthly forecast for you, and I'm doing this like at the end of June, and so, although it may be like technically for this time, I just kind of see it as, you know, some of you may be experiencing the energy I'm pulling now. Some of you, this may be a past energy. Some of you, this could be a future energy. So I'm just going to title the video. I don't really put, I'm not really going to put a timeline on anything like that. But we'll get a, it's basically just going to be a Celtic cross, you know, current energy, where it could possibly go, um, all the steps in that. So this video is going to be Virgo, like I said, but if you're checking for your sun, feel free to check out your other placements if this video doesn't resonate for you. And if this video doesn't resonate for you, or even if it does, feel free to check out other um, readers and maybe try again next next time. I almost said next week, but I only post that regularly on TikTok, to be honest. Um, so anyway... Um, I think I'm missing something. Oh, yeah, this is going to be general reading for the sign of Virgo. So, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't try to force anything, you know? So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. Let me get some of the shuffling out of the way. So, for some of you guys, I think that, you know, I, I was having so much trouble with your signal. Signal. Signal fire, sorry, signal dictator, sorry, words are awful right now. But um, with the world, I got so stuck on this red here that's just like holding the wreath together or whatever that is. And I got the six of cups, so I'm just like, why are you having so much trouble with this? Like the connectivity of this, of the, of this cycle, of this loop. And I think you're in a situation where you need. You need to leave. You know you need to leave. It's just the memories of the past, like the friendships, the the um, friendships you built, the relationships you built, whatever it is. Um, they've, you know, they meant a lot to you. Like, at one time you were really happy in this position. I do kind of think it's work-related with all the pinnacle energy here, but it doesn't necessarily have to be, but... It, it does just kind of feel like something that was once really good was just, it's just kind of turned into sour, basically. And you need something that's going to provide a lot of stability that is going to be successful, that is going to give you the abundance for all the things that you want to achieve, the the room, the opportunity, the, you know, what what you need is going to meet all your needs. Am I saying everything? Am I checking all the checklists here? I feel like, like, I, as I'm saying one thing, a new thing just pops into my head. So that's probably why I sound so jumbled right now. But um, just to cover some signs real quick, we got Cancer. Leo, Capricorn, Aquarius, um, Pisces, and Cancer again here. But with the past being the High Priestess, and then I was like, I really feel like I want to get another card on this. And the Ten of Swords, I think you were like, you could see a betrayal coming from whoever this is that you're dealing with. And like I said, I do think this is kind of work-related. And it, it's just kind of like to the point where... Since you could see it coming, you weren't even really affected by it. Like, you were, but you weren't, if that makes sense. So, since you could see it coming, once it came, you're just like, okay, I think I'm ready to leave now. Like, I'm leaving. Um, because you need a good workspace where you can be trusted to work alone, where you can be trusted to be part of the group, where you can be... Where you can be... Like a leader, because I, I do kind of see this, like, looking at this, it kind of looks like you're in this position and you enjoy, like, helping, possibly training and giving advice and speaking on what you've learned and what you can add to the community, to the team, to 
whatever. So you really would like that appreciated and um, not feel this sense of betrayal here. So with this six of coins being near future, I do feel like someone is going to help you out here because this, this does, I'm not sure. It kind of feels like you're quitting without a plan here. Um, without like something just right, ready to go. Like, like you're applying, like if you, if this is a job, like you're applying to jobs, but you, you don't, you may not even have had an interview yet kind of energy, but like the seven of swords, like, I don't know. This is like, you're just ready to leave. You're collecting your things and you're just like, all right, I'm, I'm about to go. And I think as soon as that time, you may be waiting for the job to come. You may be. Um, but it's just like, once it goes, this kind of feels like, uh, you're gone with the night type of thing. Like, I, I don't even know that you're going to give the notice really is kind of how this plan is going to be. And you may give the notice, but it doesn't feel like it'll be a two week notice. It's just like, no, nah. either that or there's some kind of sneakiness here with like, maybe you're going to interviews on your lunch break or something and you're just really being good about like keeping it under wraps that you're looking elsewhere basically and I think the influences in your community are just kind of like well hold on wait wait it could get better like hold on hold on they're trying to keep you there but like I think it's funny that the six of cups is from this deck and the uh, hopes and fears I think you do hope that especially with this being part of why, like, that ribbon was on the world, like, you may give your two weeks because I think part of you does want to be able to keep the good connection, but I think you're also, like, if they show that it's just going to deteriorate, then you're going to burn the bridge because, like, they burned the bridge. You know what I mean? Like, that's, I think that's the logic behind it. Like, nah. like. It, this will go based on how you treat me. It's kind of how this feels. So, and I think that's because of the outcome. The outcome feels like you're just, you're doing you. And you, like, this card makes me not even want to pull advice for this reading. Because it just kind of feels like you don't need to listen to any outside sources right now. You need to consider how you feel and what your thoughts are and because you're the one living it you're the one experiencing it you're the one who gets to say can you handle it can you keep dealing with it do you want to keep dealing with it or do you want to go somewhere else do you want to find something else right so I really don't even want to pull advice because I feel like the advice is just like, listen to yourself. So hopefully this helps and maybe, um, um, what am I saying? I dropped a card and got distracted. Oh, I think I was going to say I reassured you if you needed it. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys have a good night and a great month since this is a monthly forecast. And good luck on the job hunting if this is how this applies. And see you later.